I'm going to do a number of videos on uh, Cambridge International Exams you know, previous exam paper. Now this I took from the internet and this is it was asked in May June 2003 and the topic was pure mathematics. So the question is you want to find the coefficient of 1 over x for this expansion. Now this you can find by using the binomial formula or the binomial expansion formula. So let me write the binomial expansion or binomial formula. You should uh, remember this or this can also be in your formula sheets but let us let me write it. So it is like this a plus b to the power n is equal to nc0 times a to the power n b to the power 0 plus nc1 times a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 plus let me write one more uh, nc2 times a to the power n minus 2 uh, b to the power b to the power 2 and then it goes on to ncn a to the power 0 b to the power n now if you look at this it's a very simple way to remember what's happening to n uh, if you look at the coefficient of a, the coefficient of a is decreasing from n to 0. And the coefficient of b is increasing from 0 to n. Or if you look at it in a different way, if you add these two, you would get n. That is n plus 0 is n. n minus 1 plus 1 is n. Uh, n minus n minus 2, sorry, n minus 1 plus 2 gives you n. So that's how I remember it. And this is combination. So here, you can compare your a. I can compare my a with 2x and my b I can com compare with negative 1 over x. Okay, so I'm going to write using this. So using this formula, I can write like this. 2x plus negative 1 over x to the power 5 and of course you can compare your n with 5 so n will go start from n uh, nc sorry 5 c1 to 5 sorry 5 c0 to 5 c5 okay so this will become so let us write this out so this will be 5 c0 2 x to the power phi times negative 1 over x to the power 0 plus phi c 1 times 2x to the power 4 times negative 1 over x to the power 1 so and so on it goes so let me write one more plus phi c 2 times 2x to the power 3 times negative 1 over x to the power 2. Okay, now and it goes on up to n phi c phi times 2x to the power 0 times negative 1 over x to the power 5. Okay, now you have to use your intuition. Now we want the coefficient of 1 over x. Okay, so where would the coefficient of sum on this is, if you expand this, this is x to the power of 5 divided by 1. So this is not what we want. This will expand to x to the, I'm mean, only looking at x, x to the power of 4 divided by x, that will give you x cubed. This will give me x cubed divided by x squared. This will give me what I need. I will get 1 over I'll get 1 over x squared, sorry, 1 over x from this. I hope you can see. I'm focusing on this. So what I'm going to write that again. So this is phi, this I am rewriting this. This is phi c2 times 2x 
to the power 3 times negative 1 over x squared. So phi c2, you know, you should be knowing is same, you go, that is phi times 4 over 2. If you can use this, I'll show this how to do this on the calculator. Phi c2 would be 20, uh, sorry, 10 times. This will expand to 8x cubed times negative 1 over this is squared, so this will become positive. Okay, so let me, it's, you're squaring it, that will become positive, so 1 over x squared. So x cubed divided by x squared gives you, so this is same as, this is 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 times 8 is 80 times 1 over x. So the answer for this question is 80. Okay, so let me color it in red. So the coefficient is 80. So let me write in a blue color. So our answer is coefficient of 1 over x is 80. Okay, so let me do one more question. Find the value of x in the interval 0 and 180 which satisfy the equation of sine 3x plus 2 cos x is equal to 0. So let me use a thinner pen. This is too thick. So I'll use this. So let me use this color. So let me, I'll show this uh, in two different ways. I'll show you on a graphic calculator. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm not sure whether you allowed a graphic calculator, but I'll show you both ways, uh, algebraically and also in a graphic calculator. So I can write this, uh, let me rewrite. This is sine 3x plus 2 cos 3x is equal to 0. So let me take away 2 cos x from both sides. So I can write the next step is sine 3x is equal to negative 2 cos 3x. I'm going to divide both sides by cos 3x. So sine 3x divided by cos 3x. x, this is equal to negative 2. So I can say uh, there's no, because if x is equal to 0, it doesn't make any difference because cos 0 is 1. So this is 10, 3x is equal to negative 2. Okay, now, now we want to simplify. So here, when you have sine, sorry, 10, 3x, now you should know that the period of this is 60. Now, if you draw, if you draw the graph of 10x, let me explain what I mean. So, let us draw the graph of 10x. The 10x has a period of 180. Okay. So, let me draw a sketch of that. Uh, oops. Let me draw a sketch. This is my y-axis. Y this is my x-axis. Now, this has a period of 180. So this is, say, I'll go in a pitch of 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm drawing a graph of, and you've got an asymptote at 90. 10, 90 is undefined. So I'm drawing only one cycle. So this is, okay, so this is, this is 0. This is 45 degrees, this is 90 degrees, and you have again, uh, okay, so I'm drawing only one cycle, so let me scroll down, so the graph would look like this. Graph would go, it'll asymptote at this, and let me make this a bit bigger, okay. So I'm drawing only one cycle. So 
So the, this will let them do it towards. So the graph would look like this. This only a sketch, okay? So again, it will go. So this is repeating itself. So you have this is this is 90. So this is 180 degree, okay? So here again, this will repeat itself. So this is one cycle. So let me draw a sketch this. I want to explain mathematically first. Now your negative two, say so this is your this is your one and say so this is your two. And say so this is your negative one and this is negative two. Now this is what we want. Your negative two, you'll have this is what we are looking for. So this is Okay, I should draw the other way around. So let me go from year to year. So if the question was, if he had, what I'm saying is, if, if he had 10x is equal to, if 10x is negative 2, from the graph you can understand that it, it would be over 90. Okay, okay, I'll continue this in the next video. Thank you.